Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can calculate pH ports using the first in first out FIFO method. Now let's have the print size equals to 3. So the first three references will be the pH ports, and we replace the pH fault using a box. So let's put it back here at 0, and we box it up to represent a pH fault 2. Page forts, eight. Page forts. Okay. Now we just transfer the value over. Zero. Zero. Two. Right. Just transfer the value over. Now the next string is looking for a page zero. So because zero has been existed in our value here, so there's no page forts involved. And we can actually just rewrite the value here, right? We don't box it because we don't have any page forts here. Okay, let's look at the next tab. It's asking for page two. So again, we have page two in our list here. So again, we just pass on the value without boxing it, means that we don't have a page fort. And the next one is looking for a 3. A 3 is not in our value, and we need to decide which one to be replaced. As FIFO explained that, we're going to replace the oldest page in memory. So we will be comparing the 3 to see which one is the oldest. So by looking at the box here, we are going to compare between 0, 2, and 8. So because 0 is having the oldest page here compared to this 2, so we will be using the first, we're going to replace it with the new value 3 at the first place here, right? And we're going to box it, okay, to represent the page 4. And next we just transfer the same value over, right? So now we're not going to take consideration on this box anymore. And we're going to hide and consider this three box. So the next one comes in with the value zero. So zero is going to be replaced at the oldest page in memory, which is we're going to compare three, two, and eight. So because two is having the oldest page here, so two will be replaced. So we just put in the zero from here, right? And we'll box it up to represent page four and transfer over the value All right and the next value is asking for 4 and uh, 4 again it's not in our list so we need to compare and decide which value to put so if we close this up and we have actually 3, 0 and 8 to compare so because 8 is having the oldest page in memory so we're going to put 4 to replace it so again we box it up and transfer the value over, right? And the next step is uh, looking for value uh, page zero. So zero is here, and there's no page faults involved. We just copy the value over. And the last one, it's looking for five, and we're just going to compare uh, between three, zero, and four, and because three is having all this page here, so three will be replaced with five. Okay, and we just move on the value. So right now, how do we know how many page faults that we have? It's simple. We can just calculate the boxes that we put it here. So start to calculate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have a page faults of seven.